Hello. It's a me again with a nicer camera instead of my last my laptop camera, which is great, at least. It's not the best. It doesn't have like a mic or anything like that. But um I wanna kinda do like a little art tour, art desk, um stuff. Whatever, because I don't feel like moving this camera. Whatever I can't show, I'll just film somehow, somewhere else. Uh, but, or I'll just take it off when I'm done talking and do that. Um, so, first thing I want to show you is this. One of the first things in my desk, which is my movie on a drawing tablet. I'm thinking, hopefully, hopefully I'm getting a display tablet s sooner than later, but it's probably going to be Christmas, so, in like six months, unless I get another job and do that, but, which right now I just came back from work and my feet hurt, but, there you go. I also have this mug right here, which is full of mechanical pencils, pens, and a pair of scissors, some lead, and other stuff. And yes, I wrote on it. It's a nice mug, but it comes off easily, so when I'm done using it, clean it and use it as a mug. It's great. I also have my Superman mug, which, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like Superman. Only for sheer fact, like, in a way, I didn't like how he was portrayed in the last few movies he's been in. And he's overpowered because, duh, Superman. One of the first superheroes, like, ever. Anyway, but I have, as the mug would say, fine liners, black ones. These ones are the Master Marker ones. I have some Sakura Microns, but they're in my work bag because I use them as pens. Because I can't, I only have a few of those. And I also have a little shot, you know, Donatello shot glass with a needed eraser and a regular eraser and this little cheap sharpener for pencils, not traditional pencils, but uh, for my next cut, which are color pencils. I have Prismacolor Color Erase pencils, Color Erase, Color yeah, and these random ones I got from my cousin when I was young, and I don't know what they really are, American crafts? I don't know, they're okay, they're not the best, I want to get some Prismacolors, but, <sighs> that's expensive, that's like 85, for like the 132 count on Amazon, and then I have my white pens, which is white pens, Prismacolor, Posca pens, you know, Posca pens, the ultra fine, Sakura, um, yeah, uh, no, Uniball, Signo, and these Craft Smart paint pens. You can probably hear my mom downstairs. Um, then I have this awesome Slytherin mug, because Slytherin pride, with my watercolor brushes. Or at least, oh, I got them. So these are really nice. This is my favorite mug ever. That's why it has my brushes in it, because it's nice. You know. Then, I have a few other things that I'm using as stands and stuff. I have this stand right here for the Posca pens. Uh, I have a Spider-Man Pop Funko doll. It's gold. It's Iron Spider. Love Spider-Man. And I have uh, my watercolor stuff, which is my Windsor and Newton stuff right here. Windsor and Newton. I have an old one which is fairly used, and a new one that's getting pretty used pretty quickly. And then I have, you know, some palettes, some acrylic paint mixing stuff, even though I don't use acrylics, but I want to get into it. Yeah, and then I have alcohol markers. I have these. If I can get them out. Oh, hoo hoo ones, which 
which are really nice. These ones. I have the 100 set, which I got like two weeks before the 120 set came out, and I'm so upset about it. And then I have a little compartment here full of sketchbooks. And my laptop's here too. So that's nice. Um, oh man, I just made a mess. I have these guys. I have a Canson XL because I really like this brand. I have Bristol paper for markers. Watercolor, which I'm almost finished. I might do a sketchbook tour of this. And mixed media, which I haven't used yet because I just bought it at Walmart because I didn't know Walmart had this. And I might get another watercolor one from Walmart because I want to drive all the way to Michael's which is 15 minute drive. Well, Walmart is an 8 minute drive. And girl, saving on gas. <laughs> I also have Bounded Sketchbooks. This is my Moleskin Square. I'm getting Elio sketchbooks by mid-July. I pre-ordered them, and, but I do have this, which is really nice. I use Posca pens to decorate them, all of them, honestly. Then I have this sketchbook, which also haven't. This one hasn't been used at all, and then this one, which is the first bound one I've gotten, which is used a little bit, a little bit, but not a lot. I do like this. This is, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to do Inktober in this. So that's why there's so many pages not used yet. Which I need to get some like, inks and ink stuff for that because I only have limited supplies when it comes to that. Then I have older sketchbooks. I have this one from five below and I use these use this when I first got my Ohu markers and when I still use color pencils and stuff which I want to get back into my I have two dogs in here by the way if you saw them walking around I have this sketchbook which I inherently decorated fully I haven't used all of this yet but obviously you know I'm getting there it's pretty it's pretty full as it is as everything falls out my one of my friends got this for me for my 19th birthday I don't remember which one I believe it was Nick he was really cool he lives down the street too lives closer to Walmart tell you what he's amazing and I miss him and I should get around to hanging out with my friends more but my boyfriend is going to the military a few weeks so it gives me something to do to hang out with my friends. I started just hanging around him all the time. Not saying that's a bad thing, but, you know, I need to be more social. Then I have these two sketch pads that I never use, which if I get color pencils, I might use for these. Because these are, the paper's pretty thin, so I can't really use alcohol markers with them. And I don't do pencil sketches anymore. As much as I used to. And I might have a, some old sketchbook tours and stuff. I want to get into doing that. And I have my master markers. I have the 160 marker set, I believe. And I love that. I have, you know, some mask, some painter's tape, both thick and both thin and thick. And I have, you know, some gold washi tape that I haven't used in any of my drawings. But, uh, my vape has it, so that's pretty cool. And I have some lead, pocket knife, a couple other things up in here, which is really nice. And then I have this. Forgot about that. Um, I have this, which is just some panned watercolors I'm waiting for it to dry out. I know it doesn't look the best, but I'm waiting for those to dry out. I got those on Amazon, so that's really nice. And, um, yeah, this is, um, my phone keeps going off, don't mind that, but, yeah, yay. 
so that's what I have so far for my art stuff. I'm thinking about getting some, obviously, a new sketch, watercolor sketchbook, because I'm fil pretty much filled with that one. I think maybe I have five or six pages left. Then I'm going to get the new Elios in July, I think. And I might get those new Uhuhu uh -huh brush tip markers, because nothing gets my master markers, but my master markers tend to fray when I color when I use them, and that is one thing I don't like about them, so maybe the, the Ohuhu will be better when it comes to that, I don't know, maybe I'll do a review on them, or something, that'd be cool, so, that's my mini little art desk tour, I also have my laptop here, which I do digital drawing, which I need to practice a lot more, because all I've been doing is Traditional. Nothing against traditional or digital. Like I don't have. I mean, I do have a preference, but that's because I suck at one and better at another. Jesus. And yeah, so I might do some more digital. But I have a feeling it's because of the tablet I have. I feel like I'd be a lot better with a display tablet. And I, I've been wanting to do like just like digital art on my phone, which is an iPhone. But I haven't found a stylus that works for it. So I might charge up my Android and use that for now. Because I need to find that first. But because I know my stylus works on there. This, unless you have some stylus recommendations, I only have this one. Which is, I have small hands, so this works for me. And I... I don't know if you guys know, but I know I look ridiculous and I would never wear them on video or these bad boys. I look ridiculous. I look like a bug. So there's that. Um. But yeah. So. Hope, I hope that was good. I, uh, I might show little clips of my master markers. Which are right here. So the master markers. Um, and my Posca pens, which I haven't shown you guys either, with this, so, see you in a sec. These are my master markers, so those are those. My Posca pens, right here, the Iron Spider Pop Funko that I was talking about, and my other set of master markers. I mean, I have other things I didn't show, like a water bottle full of water, clean, dirty paint cups, you know, little pictures. Clifford! Clifford! What are you doing? Hi, buddy. You want to get out? Okay, I'll let you out. I'm letting you out. But yeah, there's my chair, and I put that there so it doesn't get cat hair all over it, because this is my cat's favorite spot. Here's my tripod I was using earlier. A couple other things, my lens cap, charger, not camera charger, but yeah, so, you know, lovely little art desk I have. It actually used to be a vanity, hence the mirrors, but, you know. And here's the little drawer I was talking about, you know, with all the charges and everything for the tablet, so, yeah.